Hi everyone, I am so excited. We're just about to start our next module for Into Reading. In this new module, you're going to be reading texts and hearing, listening to media that will be all about the subject of storytelling. So what I'd like you to do right now is you're going to open up your Into Reading book to pages 80 and 81, and you should see a page that looks something like the one that I have on my screen. So when you have your book open, what I'd like you to do is really look at the picture that is on this, these two pages. And I really want you to think about what do you notice within that picture? And what do you start to wonder about? I really love all of the colors that the illustrator used in this image. And when I start really looking at the picture, it starts making me wonder about different worlds and imagination. And I think that the illustrator is really trying to capture the excitement that you can have as you're reading a book that really just sucks you in. So we're going to take a look at this quote by Alice Hoffman. They weren't true stories. They were better than that. They weren't true stories. They were better than that. So when I hear that quote, I want to start breaking it apart. So if something isn't a true story, I know that it must be a fiction story. So what would make a fiction story better than a true story? In our last writing unit, we were really focusing on our personal narratives, stories that had really happened in our real lives. How could we make a story better than something that happened in true life? Well, I start to think about, oh, well, something that's better than my real life is maybe I could add magic to a story. That would be really cool. It doesn't happen in my everyday life, but it would be really exciting to read about and to imagine. Or maybe I could read a story about something that's taking place in the future or a story that has technology that's never been invented before. So I start to really think about what makes a story a really good story. So what I'd like you to do right now is you're going to jot down some ideas on your paper uh, about what makes a great story. So throughout this unit, we're going to try and answer this essential question. How does genre affect the way a story is told? So when I'm thinking about genres, I know that there are two main categories that a, story, that a text can fall into. We can either have fiction or nonfiction. So fiction means that it's a made up story. It comes from the mind of the author. And nonfiction means that it's a true story. It, these are real facts. Um, and usually an author, when they're writing a nonfiction story is trying to give us information of some kind. And then there's lots of genres that fall within fiction and nonfiction. So for example, a book could be a fiction book, but it also could be a historical fiction, um, which would mean that the story takes place in the past and it could be based around events that really did happen, but it's made up from the mind of the author. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to watch this video. When I play it, it's not going to have sound for you. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video here, and then you're going to go to our Google Classroom, and you're going to click on the link for this video. Um, and then we'll have a conversation about it when you're done. Welcome back. So as you were watching that video, it was a similar story that was going on, but it changes dramatically when the genre changes. So I want you to think, what did you notice about the story when it went from an informational text or for an informational story to a fantasy to poetry? How did that really change 
the out the the way that the story was being told what were some things that you noticed so when you are thinking about genre a lot of times we have to think about what is the best genre to be able to tell a specific story when you think about your favorite books or your favorite texts to read i want you to really think about what genre is it so some examples of genres we heard three examples in the video, but you might also really enjoy a story that is um, you might really enjoy a story that is a fantasy or a science fiction, or you might really be interested in a text that is a fable or a fairy tale. You might really like realistic fiction or narrative nonfiction. You might find that informative texts are your favorite to read or biographies or autobiographies. So think about the stories that you really, really like. Why, why do you gravitate to that genre? So as we're going through this module, we're really going to be thinking about different story genres. And so in your book, you're going to find a knowledge map, very similar to the ones that we were creating when we were brainstorming ideas for our informational text writing pieces. So as we're reading the stories, we are going to um, use our books and draw on the knowledge map. Um, so you can add information about story genres as we go. So we're really going to be thinking about fantasy and adventure, fairy tales, plays, poetry, and realistic fiction. And what we notice about each of the different genre types. So if you would like to add in some information based on what we just saw in that video, you can go and do so right now. So we were thinking about poetry and fantasy or adventure. And um, we also, there was the, the third genre, genre of informational texts, um, which isn't listed there because that's not a, a type of story. Um, but if you'd like to add on something that you noticed about poetry and something that you um, noticed about fantasy, you can add that on right now.